Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this glow outline transition inside of After Effects. This is actually pretty easy to do. So this is how we do it. So to start off, you can see I have this two clip on my timeline of EBK level. It was saw by Spooky, so we shout out to him as well. But anyways, to start off, go to your second clip. What do you want the transition on to? And then just hit Ctrl D on the keyboard, selecting that clip to duplicate it. And then you have to right click it, go over to time and freeze frame so it turns into a still frame like this as you can see it is like a still image now now we're gonna start like maxing out our subject first so to do that hit g on a keyboard to bring up the pen tool or you can just go over to this tool and select there and just like start selecting out your subject something like this you can just drag along to make curves and just click it to like make selection around your subject so something like this so do it around your whole subject then now after you've done all your selection to finish it off go to your first like point and just like link it to there and your mark should be finished and ready to go you won't see nothing right now but if i hide my background layer you can see our subject is selected out and we only have our subject in the scene which is cool just bring up your background layer again and selecting your freeze frame i'm gonna name it freeze frame actually so you know so freeze frame and you can just slide it in before like our clip starts so something around here we're gonna make it actually two frames so exactly two frame right here and then now to add the stroke in it we'll be adding an effect called stroke so stroke as you can see just add it into a clip and instantly you will have your stroke aligned to your marks you can see the path is marks one you can change around if you have more marks in your like layer now you can bring up the brush size to three i guess or you can bring it up more if you like so even like five now to remove our subject all you gotta do is go to paint style on original image set it to on transparent so it should like only bring like the outline as you can see that's pretty cool right there and now in it you can also add like a deep glow and bring up the radius and lower down the exposure a little bit so something like this so we have this glowing outline right here then to add more movement in it you just have to like copy this and paste it like two frame forward making a little gap on it so it is like flickering like that and actually make this like a one frame and go over to scale hit the s in your keyboard to bring up the scale in your timeline and just like unlock the scale and you can just squeeze it and play around to get like different look like that or maybe something like this yeah that looks pretty fire right there and at this two frame you can also like split it and remove the stroke effect on it and add like a fill fill and set the color to white again white and just put it uh, before your deep glow so we also have this like glow going on looks pretty cool right there so yeah you can always make more copies of this and like play around and stuff you can even play around with the start to get like different looks so something like this as you can see looks really cool right there and now to smooth it out you can see it doesn't look like too like impactful to make it more impactful we're gonna use a shake so for that i'll be using my own shake pack you can use your shakes if you have but i will use my own shake pack so create a new adjustment layer right here and effects and preset go to animation preset user preset and a sim novak shake pack right here in sd we're gonna use the best one so add the best one and just stream the start so we only have the impact going on the second clip like that now as you can see after adding the shake that looks super cool right there and clean as well so if you want to download the shake pack i'll link it in the description i swear this is one of the best shake pack out in this niche but anyways as you can see our effect looks something like this there's more ways to do this effect so i'm gonna show you one more way so to do that another way i'm gonna make a new like duplicate this composition actually so we on a new comp you don't really have to do this but it is just to make things separate but anyways in here we're gonna remove this like flickering frames and we would only have this like two frame right here just extend the first outline clip to like three or four frames so something like this then now go over to fx control and hit the stopwatch where it says start to bring it up to 100 and go over to the end and set it to zero 
so we have something like this write on effect as you can see it is like writing on it more slower if you like so extending the duration and and it should look something like this right now and if you also like you can like switch out the shakes so i have some dope distort shakes on my pack as well so i'm gonna use those so let's just go with like distort 5 and just make the impact at the beginning and now we have played through you can see that looks super impactful right there i swear this is the best shake out there you can see i also had like the wiggles and stuff which looks really cool you can uh, even use like a four so i'm gonna showcase you this as well it is like a distort shake so something like that i even have these like some warp shakes right here as you can see but we just gonna use the shake 5 as i saw dude this looks really hard you can even like play with the distort chroma keyframes if you like so extending this and i think right now that looks really hard right there so if you want to download the shake pack i'll link it in the description as i said but anyways with that our final effects look something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this you can also follow me on instagram join my discord server all that good stuff so yeah i'ma see you tomorrow peace